So, so uh, we saw the we saw what a first order differential equation, we saw different types of first order differential equation and we said that the general strategy of solving differential equations is to separate the variables, okay. Now, now we look at cases where uh, you cannot separate the variables then what can you do and today's topic will be exact differentials which will be the way of solving differential equations where you cannot easily separate the variables, okay. So, before talking about exact differentials I just want to mention one thing that uh, sometimes you have uh, you have a uh, sometimes, so uh, we can use a change of variables to separate equations, equation. So, your differential equation might be converted to separable form by a change of variables. So, an example of that is suppose Suppose you have a differential equation, so example, suppose you have x y prime equal to x plus y, okay. Now, you can see this, you, you cannot try to separate, so you cannot separate this, not separable, okay. However, let us say u equal to y by x. Okay. So, suppose you set u equal to y by x, set u equal to y by x. So, you are changing the variables from uh, your dependent variable from y to u. Okay. So, suppose you set u equal to y by x, then you can uh, you can immediately write y equal to ux and you can write dy by dx is equal to uh, which is also denoted by y prime. This I can write it as u prime x plus u, okay. So, uh, so how does this help you, okay. So, uh, you just if you just replace y by u prime x plus u or, or if you replace y prime by u prime x plus u, okay, then what you will get is u prime x square plus u x equal to x plus y is u x, okay. And uh, what you can see is that immediately one x will cancel, okay. So, so you can cancel one x. So, what you get is u prime x plus u is equal to 1 plus u, okay. And again also a u will cancel. So, this, uh, this you can write uh, implies u prime x equal to 1 or du by dx equal to 1 by x and you can you can solve this and you will get uh, u is equal to log of x plus constant and you can go back and you can write uh, y is equal to u x. So, so, that is y equal to x log x plus constant times x. So, that is the that this is the solution. So, you solve this equation which did not look separable initially by doing a change of variables. So, sometimes a change of variables can convert a differential equation into a separable form, okay. Now, uh, often you cannot uh, you cannot separate uh, differential equations. However, uh, there is still uh, something to say. Uh, so, so uh, in this case, uh, in this particular case, we just looked at the differential equation and we and we chose this we chose this transformation of variables. But suppose you are asked how do you know whether a differential equation will have such a transformation of variables? How, how do you know that a differential equation can be converted to separable form, okay. okay. So, to answer that question we will we'll address the issue of exact and inexact differentials. And here what we will do is we will rewrite the differential equation in a slightly different form. So, we will rewrite the differential equation in the form m of x y d x plus n of x y d y equal to 0. 
So, I just rewrote the differential equation not every differential equation can be written in this form, but let us assume that uh, you know you can write uh, the differential equation in, in this form. So, so notice that uh, this basically implies dy by dx equal to minus m of xy divided by n of xy. So, it is an explicit differential equation whatever your dy by dx is you can. So, if you can write an expression for dy by dx then you can write it in this form ok. So, so this is the differential equation and uh, now you know that uh, when you when we studied vectors ok and we studied gradient of a vector we studied uh, potential theory. So, when you when we studied potential theory we said that uh, we said that uh, force can be expressed as a gradient of a potential if the various components satisfy some relation and uh, exactly the same idea can be used here. So, so can we write d u is equal to m of x y d x plus n of x y dy. So, is there is there some u ok some u which is a function of x y such that d u can be written in this form. So, can we write this and the answer is if you can if yes then then you say m d x plus n d y is exact else m d x plus n d y is inexact ok. So, this is the basic uh, this is the basic idea of exact and inexact differentials that if you if you have this differential equation and you and you want to write this whole differential on the left as d u ok. So, that is what we want to do and we want to ask can we do it if you can do it then you say that it is an exact differential if you cannot do it you say it is an inexact differential. So, what is the condition for exact and inexact condition for m of x y d x plus n of x y d y to be an exact differential. So, what is the condition and uh, I will write the condition and then it will become clear why that is a condition. So, the condition is partial derivative of m of x y with respect to y. So, the partial derivative of y means you keep x fixed ok. So, this should be equal to partial derivative of n of x y with respect to x again you keep y fixed and you have already seen such conditions when we did potential theory or we, when you do thermodynamics you see such conditions. Okay. So, this is a condition for uh, m d x plus n d y to be an exact differential and uh, it is very easy to see why this condition sh uh, helps to make this an exact differential ok. So, so to understand that what we want to do is uh, if d u equal to m x y d x plus n of x y d y is exact then uh, we have d u is equal to dou u by dou x d x plus dou u by dou y d y ok. So, this implies dou u by dou x is equal to m of x y and dou u by dou y is equal to n of x y ok. So, if this were an exact differential then this is what uh, it really implies about m and n ok. So, now, now you can see the condition. So, therefore, the condition your condition this condition this condition basically implies the following. So, if you replace m by dou u by dou x then you have dou by dou y of dou u by dou x. So, that is dou square. So, so I will call this condition 1. 
So, condition 1 implies implies dou square u by dou x dou y is equal to dou square u by dou y dou x. Okay? And if u is a, is a smooth function of x y then this is satisfied. Okay? So, therefore, you can see you can see the connection why, why we insisted that this should be the condition for exact differential. Okay? So, uh, now so what does this mean? This means that you can take any differential equation, you can check is it exact, is it not. Okay? So, so, and that is a very nice thing, you know, where, so, so you, can, uh, you can easily check that it is exact or not. Now, if it is exact, if your differential equation is exact, okay, then uh, what happens? If d e is exact, then then you have these two conditions, you have uh, dou u by dou x equal to m. So, u then d u equal to 0 implies u of x y equal to constant. This is your implicit solution. So, you can solve the differential equation very easily if it is exact. Okay? So, let us take an example. Okay, I I won't discuss the change of variables yet. Okay, so let's take an example. Okay, so so I won't be discussing this. Let me take, just take an example of exact differential. So suppose you have dy by dx is equal to minus two xy square. Plus y, plus x, x plus x cube divided by two x square y plus x plus y. Okay, so so what I'll do is I'll rewrite this. I'll rewrite this as so so this times dx. I'll bring it to the left. So I have two x y square plus y plus x cube dx plus 2x square y plus x plus y dy equal to 0. So, this is my and you can verify. So, so your, uh, your term dou m by dou, uh, dou y is equal to 4xy plus 1 dou n by dou x is equal to 4xy plus 1. So, clearly it is an exact differential. So, this is an exact differential. Okay. Now, how do you solve this exact differential equation? So, you know that uh, this quantity is nothing but dou u by dou x. Okay. So, so, you say that dou u by dou x is equal to 2 x y square plus y plus x cube. You can use either of them. You can use either dou u by dou x or you can use dou u by dou y. Okay? And now, if I integrate the right hand side with respect to x, remember when you do dou u by dou x, you are keeping y fixed. So, you are in, so now this integration is very straightforward. So, you will immediately say that uh, u is equal to x square y square plus x y plus x raised to 4 divided by 4 plus constant. And uh, remember the solution of the differential equation. Uh, now, now uh, you have to be a little careful. So, this constant of integration, so constant depends on on y. Okay. So, it's, so I should write c of y. Okay. Because because I had a partial derivative with respect to x. So, any function of y. If I take the derivative with respect to x, it will go to 0. So, 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 if I have this, you can verify that a derivative with respect to x will give me exactly the above, above equation. Okay? So, this is a form of u. Okay? Now, further you know that uh, dou u by dou y is equal to 2 x square y plus x 
plus y and this is from this is from the differential equation from here okay so what can you say so so therefore what you'll say if if i take do u by do y here then i'll get 2 x square y plus x plus do c by do y okay and uh, what you immediately get is that uh, do c by now now these two will cancel each other so i'll just cancel this this similarly x x will cancel so what you'll be left with this implies do c by do y is equal to y or c is equal to y square by 2 okay so so by doing this we got this c of y and so i can write the total u so my solution of differential equation is uh, u equal to constant equal to x square y square plus x y plus x 4 by 4 plus y square by 2 okay so this is a constant so we solve this differential equation by by this method of exact differentials okay so uh, so so i think i think uh, this use of exact differentials to solve differential equations is actually a very powerful method okay and uh, i'll just uh, write I'll, I'll just emphasize the steps again so so in the solution by exact differentials so first uh, we had m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So, so we took advantage of the fact that uh, m, so uh, we, we set this equal to du okay and uh, what we wanted to do is to find this u, u is a function of x, y okay just like m and n. So, what you said is that uh, dou u by dou x equal to m okay and uh, so so i can write u as integral m dx plus some function i'll just call it g of y okay then you had do u by do y equal to n so therefore i can write uh, do u by do y i can write as uh, do by do y of integral m dx plus do g by do y equal to n okay and uh, this allowed us to solve for this gives a differential equation in g okay so you can solve for g for g of y okay and once you have solved for g of y then you have your solution of the form u equal to u equal to integral m dx plus g of y equal to constant. So, this is my solution of this differential equation okay. So, so we see how, how you can use the idea of exact differentials to actually solve a differential equation that otherwise, otherwise uh, if you did not use this idea then this differential equation actually looks very complicated. So, if you just take this differential equation okay then uh, it does not look like you can separate x and y okay it looks like x and y are very it looks like a very complicated equation where you cannot separate x and y okay. But by going through this uh, by going through this idea of exact and inexact differentials okay we actually related the numerator and the denominator to derivatives of of uh, of some function which is the solution. Okay. And the only reason we could do this was because you had this equation of this exact differential that dou m by dou y was equal to dou n by dou x. Okay. So, this is a very powerful method to solve first order differential equation okay. and uh, what it says is that even if you cannot uh, separate the variables you can still go ahead and solve first order differential equations. Now, uh, what happens if, uh, if m is not exact okay so what happens what if m dx plus n dy is not exact 
okay and that is dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. What can you do in such a case? Okay. So, now there are uh, two things to do. So, one is uh, can we change variables? Okay. So, sometimes you are able to find some tricks where you where, uh, where you suitably change variables and suddenly you get the, so the solution. Okay. So, so, this is not always reliable okay so it might not be possible so so you just have to see whether you can change variables and you can get to this okay so the other method that we'll be discussing in the next lecture will be that of integrating factors okay and this this is the other other trick that we'll be using when you want to solve differential equations, first order differential equations. So, in the next class, I will be talking about integrating factors and how, how you can use the idea of integrating factors to solve differential equations where, where you cannot use the ideas of exact differential. Okay. So, so I will stop here for today now.